A new TikTok trend known as Chelsea Boots Men Theory has a lot of interesting things to say about men who wear Chelsea boots. If you're even a tiny bit interested in style, you'll be familiar with Chelsea boots and you might already own a pair or two. Personally, I fell in love with this style of shoe when I was 17 years old and I've been wearing them ever since. In this video, I'm going to break down the Chelsea Boots Men Theory trend, how it can help you choose the right style of Chelsea boot, and what to wear them with. Here we've got a guy in streetwear and sneakers who's just seen a photo of his ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend and he's wearing Chelsea boots. So why is he mad about this? It's because the Chelsea boots say something about her new man. And that's what the Chelsea boots men theory trend is all about. It's what the Chelsea boots say about you. Men who wear Chelsea boots are more serious about not just dating but their whole life than men who wear sneakers. So just as the shoes look more grown up, so is the guy. Some say that Chelsea boots even suggest he is in a different class in life altogether. And if you don't believe me, take a look at some of these comments. I think they're pretty funny. He has a high credit score, plans vacations instead of boys trips, and has never had a roster. Another person wrote, She's definitely experiencing the finer things in life. Sneakers equals figuring it out vibes. Chelsea boots equals having it together vibes. So where the hell has this all come from? To explain, I think we need to go back to the history of Chelsea boots and their origin might surprise you. So the style was actually first invented by Queen Victoria's shoemaker, Joseph Sparks Hall in 1837. The boots really came into their own in the 1950s and 60s when the coolest people in Britain began wearing them. Bands like the Rolling Stones and the Beatles and women like Jean Shrimpton. The popularity of Chelsea boots has waxed and waned a little bit over the decades. But the Chelsea boot has always been a part of what is considered timeless style for men. Now here's an interesting fact about why they are called Chelsea boots. The name comes from an area of London Chelsea, which to this day is a very affluent area. And it got this name because the main people who were wearing Chelsea boots in the 50s and 60s used to hang around Chelsea, especially on the main street there, known as the King's Road. So for this reason, the Chelsea boot is associated with class, affluence, and sophistication. If you're watching my channel, then these characteristics probably appeal to you, and that's the kind of image I like to create too. And this is why you see the man here having a meltdown, because he realizes his girl has moved on with a man who is of higher social status than him. You might be wondering whether Chelsea boots are for you. Well, here are five reasons why you should consider wearing Chelsea boots. First, they look way more adult and sophisticated than a pair of sneakers. The man who wears Chelsea boots immediately has a greater sense of confidence and maturity. They also look very masculine and sexy, but they're still more sleek and urban than a pair of lace-up boots. A third reason I love Chelsea boots is they are incredibly easy to put on. They have no laces and the top just opens up with the elastic so you can easily slip your foot in. I also love Chelsea boots because they're incredibly easy to style. They are one of the most versatile shoes you can own and they look good with everything from jeans to a suit. And finally, for all of these reasons, they are a very attractive style of shoe to women. I think you could say that about most boots, but what really sets the Chelsea boot apart is how it combines that rugged masculinity with the same level of sophistication as a loafer. Personally, I can tell you that my girlfriend loves it when I wear my Chelsea boots. And if you want to know what women think of different style of shoes, from sneakers to lace-up shoes and boots, then check out my video here. Now, I'm saying the majority of women like Chelsea boots. Obviously, not all of them do. Here's what some people don't like about Chelsea boots. They're not the most masculine shoe. In fact, it's a unisex style, and the difference between men's and women's Chelsea boots it's only really subtle differences like the profile and the heel size. People also dislike the fact that you can't wear them with super casual outfits like shorts or sweatpants. Others just think they are ugly, but I think that really depends on the style of Chelsea boot that you buy. So let's look at some different options now. Certain styles of Chelsea boots will be better investments than others and have greater mass appeal. Here's how to choose a pair of Chelsea boots that will look good almost all the time. If you want to play it safe, then a pair of black leather Chelsea boots is your best bet. Slightly more controversial, but more stylish in my opinion, would be a pair of dark brown leather or oxblood Chelsea boots. I prefer these because they are more versatile. Those of us who are into classic style generally like to avoid wearing black unless it's the night time, so I like to wear my dark brown Chelsea boots during the day. Where things get more controversial is when you introduce fabrics like suede. Not only can these be harder to pair with different outfits, 
but they also scream for attention a lot harder than a dark leather Chelsea boot. I think it's this style of Chelsea boot in particular that comes across as a bit try-hard and tacky, and can even give girls fuckboy vibes. That's not to say you shouldn't do it. If you understand style, buy high quality suede and you know how to pair it with a good outfit, then that could look absolutely fantastic for you, but you are in risky territory here. If you choose a nice dark leather Chelsea boot with just the right amount of pointiness at the toe and a rubber or leather sole, I think it would be very hard to argue this does not look sophisticated and stylish. On the other hand, if you were to buy a tan suede pair with a very rounded toe and a thick lug sole, that creates the total opposite effect. In terms of brands, boots are never something you want to cheap out on. But that doesn't mean you need to break the bank to get high quality. Here are the Chelsea boots I personally own, and I got these on Amazon for just $84. They're by the brand Alipassin, well, at least I think that's how you pronounce it. It's not a particularly well-known shoemaker, but I decided to give them a try, and over one year later, I can tell you these things really held up well. The construction is solid, but also very comfortable. The leather is soft, but has a nice sophisticated look and shine to it, and the rubber sole is really comfortable for walking. Other brands that I've tried in the past that I would avoid include Kurt Geiger, H&M, and Topman. None of those brands had the quality to hold up for a long period of time, which I'm sure you would expect from H&M or Topman. But the Kurt Geiger ones are pretty darn expensive, so it just goes to show that a luxury brand doesn't always mean you'll get the quality you're after. Another great place to buy your Chelsea boots is Thursday Boots. This is a direct-to-consumer brand that uses high-quality materials and craftsmanship, but they sell the products at a fraction of the price compared to equivalent shoemakers. They have a ton of Chelsea boots on their website, all priced at less than $200. So whatever style of Chelsea boot you do go for, Thursday will have something for you. If you want the same dark brown leather ones that I have, I'm gonna put the link to those in the description. And I would show them to you on camera right now, but unfortunately, I'm on vacation and I don't have them with me. If you look at the comments section of this original Chelsea Boots Man video, you will see a lot of women telling you that they have what they call a Chelsea Boots boyfriend. And the common styling combination keeps coming up. The Chelsea Boots, a turtleneck and a long overcoat. Now, when I lived in the UK, I used to see a lot of young Asian guys doing this and I thought it looked great. So in the winter and the fall, this is an excellent way to style your Chelsea boots. But what I love about Chelsea boots is how versatile they are. You can wear them with jeans, with chinos, wool trousers, or even a suit. And actually, for those of us who like to dress up and wear a suit or tailored clothes a lot, a Chelsea boot can be a great, more casual alternative to a lace-up shoe. I kind of think of them as the winter equivalent to the loafer. Gentlemen, I hope this video has been an entertaining and informative look at the Chelsea boot. Personally, I don't buy into fashion trends, but social media trends like Chelsea boots man theory can give us an interesting way to look at a classic style piece. And it gives us an insight into how our sartorial choices are perceived by others. Let me know in the comments if you are a Chelsea boots man, and what your favorite pair is. And if you want to learn about another style of classic shoe that's a little bit controversial, check out my video here where I talk about how to wear loafers without looking like an old man. Thanks for watching, gentlemen, and I look forward to speaking with you all in the comments.